Force de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage des EAP, décollage. Absolutely awesome. The Ariane 5 ECA has roared into the skies above Peru. This is my fourth time here, and it takes my breath away every single time. As we close in on the one-minute mark, Ariane 5 is about to break the sound barrier here in Peru. And I know from experience, in just a moment, this building is going to start shaking as that Ariane goes over. And we can hear the sound now. I can hear it right now, yeah. And how impressive it is once again with these beautiful images uh, of this flight during the day with the sunlight. And there, there are 1,300 tons of thrust is breaking the Ariane 5 free from Earth gravity. 90% of that power is coming from the two boosters. Each one is 31 meters, about 100 feet tall and are burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes, more than two tons per second. When the boosters have done their job in less than a minute, from now Ariane will be about 70 kilometers into the sky and traveling at more than one mile per second, much faster than a bullet. We're in a soundproof booth and it is still rumbling here at Jupiter. Uh, Julian, the green screen that we followed before has been replaced by a chart and a moving dot. What's that representing and what about the numbers below there? So, in fact, these curves on the left show the predicted trajectory profile and the moving dot is the current position of Ariane 5. The V stands for velocity and A stands for altitude. Okay, we want that dot to follow the curve? Yeah, absolutely. This data is coming from Galio, the tracking station on a big hill behind Jupiter. Engineers there are evaluating all the data in real time. Already, and we just uh, saw the burnout and the jettison of the twin solid rocket boosters high in the sky, and uh, they are going to end up, of course, in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, and we can see it very well on this picture. It's uh, real, uh, real uh, live data, a live video. And the boosters have done their job and we don't need them anymore. They drop away and the mass of the launcher is now 180 tons. So we've lost 600 tons in about a couple of minutes. Wow, the lighter we are, the faster we go. Yeah, what an incredible shot as you see them uh, fall away and, of course, the Ariane 5 in the center. At uh, three minutes, four seconds into the mission, all is well. And we see uh, some images of the fairing coming up uh, in a moment. And uh, what is the purpose? And we just heard the separation of the quap. What's the purpose this of it? This fairing that, that has just separated is... Uh, it has protected the Asset 1A and Intersat New Dawn on the ground before launch and after liftoff from acoustic vibration and atmospheric friction. However, above 100 kilometers, there is no risk of friction anymore and we can separate the fairing and then can lighten the launcher uh, again. And it's about uh, two tons less on the launcher. And uh, I, I think the cameraman was so enthralled by being able to see the solid rocket boosters and everything. We, we never even saw the uh, the fairing. But uh, everything is going uh, fantastic. Uh, so it is now time uh, for us to uh, get some news from Arian Space. On February 16th, the automated transfer 